read all this? About the very second I heard your voice coming through my speakers. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean... Welcome back, everybody, to Pacific Drive. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we are going to go ahead and uh, continue this Red Meadow Research Facility mission. But before we do that, uh, as usual, we'll do a couple things around the shop. So, um, as you saw in the opening little montage there, uh, I did go out on a run and um, found the uh, the tree candy and also the crystal thingamadoodles. Um, basically... What I've discovered, and I didn't really pay attention to this until I knew it, was that these upper areas in the mid zone are not swamp areas. They're they're like highlands or drylands or something like that. Um, and it's it's those areas that have those two very important resources. So we found those. Um, I ran into some weird stuff happening, as I showed you on the video, where I kind of fell through the world <laughs> when I was trying to get back uh, to the gateway and get the hell out of there. So that was weird, but fortunately the game popped me back out and I made it uh, through the gateway. After that, um, let's see, anything else real significant happen? I tried, uh, you know, the zone that I was working in had um, a, a bunch of the, the spike traps, so I tried out the puncture tires and they work okay, but it is a little bit more difficult to control the car with them, which is to be expected. Um, and um, I think that's mostly it to get you guys updated on what has happened up to this point um so we're going to do a couple things uh in terms of making stuff uh so the first thing i want to do is i want to make the all-terrain tires now i like these tires for a couple reasons they're they're just good all around tires for every uh, you know for all three ratings but even more importantly or at least as importantly as that they have a health rating of 300 whereas the off-road tires uh, or the puncture proof tires only have 250 uh, so they're just going to be a little bit tougher all the way around uh, so we're going to get those and but that means we need to make a total of eight uh, carbon fiberglass which we can just do through this menu okay good that gives us four um all-terrain tires Okay, um, so let's go ahead and 
switch those out. And I'm going to need to make another parts storage locker because I'm out of room uh, with the two that I have. I've got one here and one there. There's, I got, looks like I do have one spot open. And yeah, we'll try these tires out and see how they do. Um, I, I can tell you already, though, that I kind of like the look of the off-road tires better, at least the, the mags themselves. Um, okay. But, you know, if, if these tires perform as good as advertised, then that's more important. Um, also, you know, because I've been replacing panels and things on the car as things get damaged, um, I, I, I only had that one camouflage um, decal kit, and so I've been kind of just mixing things up a little bit here. I, I, I'm using the animal decal with some yellow paint. Uh, the chassis of the vehicle and the back door is still camouflage, uh, but of course that'll change when we have to, you know, change those out. Uh, radiation damage seems to be a big deal in the mid-zone. Um, so, as you can see, I've, I've started putting, you know, some of the lead panels on the vehicle, as well as continuing to use some armored panels. And, you know, uh, overall things seem to be working out pretty good, uh, but we do take some damage, of course. All right, so if we're going we're gonna to need to make another parts locker, let's do that next. Oh, you know what, though? Actually, now that I think about it, no, that's a pneumatic locker. Yeah, we can't make another parts locker until we find... 0.8 kalims of corrupted energy. Um, what we could do though is we could make a, a, another pneumatic. Well, actually, before we, I, I don't see the point in doing that until this one is completely filled up. One thing we could maybe do is let's look over here. Yeah, that one's still full. That one's still full. One of these I was looking at, and... Yeah, see, we're not going to be able to get four tires in here. I use this for my four square grid items. Um, this has kind of higher end, rarer stuff in it. So... I guess what we could do is... We could pull all of this stuff out of here and put it in the pneumatic. And then put the tires in here. Yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. So let's. I don't want them. I don't want to leave them lying around because then they'll get sucked up in the vacuum every time I use it. Um. Okay. So let's. Yeah. Took a took the game a little while to register that. Let's just transfer all this stuff into the pneumatic. And again, you know, some of you guys indicated to me in the comments that this is unlimited, but if it is truly unlimited space, then what's the point in ha having more pneumatic upgrade, locker upgrades? Uh, you know, that's, that's the question. That is the question. Unless you do it solely for the purpose of, you know, just having different lockers for organization purposes. I don't know, but we'll put these off-road tires in there. Uh, we can put this one in here for now, I guess. All right, and there's still, you know, room for storing more things in there, too. In fact, my I put my puncture tires down in the bottom of here, so we could pull those back out if we needed room for other part items that we could put in there. Okay, now the next thing that I want to do is I want to make the amp engine. We have all the stuff we need. That's primarily why I went back out so I could get more swamp coral to make this thing. Now this is gonna this has 234 horsepower compared to 196 of the Turbolite compared to 128 of the original uh, carbureted engine. Now my guess is that this engine does not require gasoline. And if that is the case, because it sure seems to indicate that here, I mean, amp engine, you know, electric engine, 
then we can remove all of the gasoline modules off the car and replace them with, well, more batteries and uh, power and that kind of thing. Uh, so let's make this thing and uh, we'll give it a, we'll check it out. Okay. Let's store you in here. Yeah, I figured that would take up some space. Actually, uh, where did I put that? I guess I have two off-road tires in here. It'd be better if it fits to put the engine in there because it's so damn big. Will it let me do that? Huzzah! Nice. Okay, cool. And we'll just stick this in here. Okay, so now... Um... I guess to test this, let's let's remove the back seat tank. Um, and here again, we'll grab this other off-road tire out of here and put it in here. And let's remove the fuel synthesizer. Do I have any off-road tires in... Those are all panels. Floodlights. Here we go. Put the fuel synthesizer in here. Now, if it turns out that I just absolutely love these all-terrain tires, um, then I might end up just melting down the off-road tires. Okay, so we have no additional gasoline connections on the vehicle. What I would like to do is let's just take this for a spin because if we look and see, see my gas tank is completely full right at the moment. Um... Let's just take it for a spin around the track and see if it consumes any gasoline at all. It sure sounds like it's still a gasoline engine. Because, you know, this could be a hybrid, right? Uh, which still uses a little gas. I don't know. Ooh, it's got some get up and go, man. Nice. Lots of power. So yeah, let's let's just take it around the block a couple of times and see if uh, it consumes any gasoline. I'm also trying to get a feel for the tires. I can tell that they're not quite as grippy as the off-roads, but they're not bad, though. The uh, puncture tires, th those were a little t uh, trickier to, you know, to drive drive around in. I mean, they weren't terrible. They weren't as bad as I was expecting them to be. But, yeah, they're a little, a little more challenging. Okay, we definitely would have consumed enough gas from that, doing that to at least tell. Man, this engine's got lots of power. So, yep, 100% gasoline. Okay, cool. So that means then, like I said, we don't need any of the gasoline. Here, let's turn that off. Uh, we don't need any of the gasoline add-on thingies. So, I think the first thing I'm going to do is make another high-capacity seat battery. Uh, hopefully I have everything I need to do that. Yes, we do. Okay, and then we'll put that in here. And that gives us two high-capacity batteries. Um, these will trickle charge the batteries. They essentially act as alternators, so it probably makes sense to keep those on there. And 
Is there, uh, was there a better side battery that we could make, or is it, is that the, our only option? Lightning rod or, or mini turbo. We got the mini turbines. Let's look back here again, too. Okay, so that's a leak resistant battery. Oh, we have to find something called a spike log anomaly. We haven't found come across that yet. Uh, this is the high capacity seat battery. This needs corrupted energy. That needs corrupted energy. This was the solar panel, which seems pretty worthless to me unless I'm missing something because it only does 0 0.035 kilowatts per second. And my assumption is it doesn't even work at all unless the sun's out. I mean, that's how solar panels typically work. The other th option is we could do a hydro generator for 0.135 kilowatt. But then again, it has to be raining, I think, for that to be effective. That is the assumption. Um, or... Or we just make two more turbines and we just have turbines on the outside. I haven't really run into a, an issue yet with storage. I mean, you know, between this big honking thing and, you know, this, though I, I keep more, you know, tool and utility things in here. Oh, we wouldn't need to take this gasoline with us. Right. Okay, so that'll free up more space there. We're definitely going to keep this, you know, keep the gasoline and the gasoline components. Um, especially because if the final engine that we can make... Uh, where, is the, where are the engines? Right here. This guy. Yeah, see, this guy will require gas, but look at the horsepower. <laughs> over 300 horsepower uh, and 600 health to boot. So, yeah, so we definitely want to keep our gasoline uh, stuff components for when we switch that engine in the end. But for the moment, uh, we don't need it, which is great. So we can run clean. Um, all right, so the two options are uh, I could either put more turbines or we could just make another side battery. Um I, let, let's just let's make another side battery. Let's just go batshit crazy with the with the batteries on our vehicle. And you know we have we have the uh, we have these plasma chargers too. So if it turns out that we actually run out of power uh, and these aren't you know able to keep keep it uh, sustain us then we, we, we can always fall back on the plasma chargers and because of that reason maybe we should make one more of those what are we missing oh well we're missing plasma okay well I guess we'll we'll have to go get some more of that okay cool so yeah I'm looking forward to uh, trying this engine out I could definitely tell you know between the engine and the and the tires the car is even, you know, getting better. <laughs> a little more power. And uh, that's always a good thing. Now, is there anything else that I wanted to do? We've got 11.3 unstable and 20.6 stable. Um, oh, you know what? Well, I, I don't care about this really. It just how it lets us fuel more quickly. But this, especially now with... All of the battery capacity that we have, this could this could come in handy. I'm not sure if we can make it now, but this is a prerequisite to it. Uh, so it just wants a circuit board. Because this little guy here, even before I added more batteries, was not enough to charge everything in one shot. Um, so, yeah, let's do that just because it's a prerequisite to something I'm pretty sure we are going to want. So we'll make one circuit board there. And then we'll go back to here and we'll learn this. Okay. Rapid refill pump kit. So 
this is going to change the look of it at all. Oh wow. <laughs> it doesn't have the It doesn't have the the paneling on it now, but it definitely looks different. Okay, cool. That's cool. Now, can we make this other thing now or are we going to be blocked by something else? We we can. We just need Okay, so we need plaza. We'll need to get some more thermosap crystals and circuit boards we can already make. Okay, cool. So we'll we'll do that as soon as we can. We need corrupted energy for that. Um, that needs more thermosap crystals, so we'll have to wait on that. This, I think, yeah, that required corrupted energy. All right. We can't make any of this stuff till we get corrupted energy. We can't make that till we get corrupted energy. We've already looked at everything else here that we can make so far. Um, tires. What is this tire? Power grip tire. Well, it doesn't matter. We need corrupted energy anyways. Very good road rating, but not super good on um, off-road or and really bad in water. Plus, it uses electricity. So, I don't know. I don't know if those are any good or not. Uh, we got all those. This is corrupted energy. I'm just double-checking. Um, that's an expanded backseat tank. And that's a leak-resistant fuel tank. I mean, we probably are going to want this stuff when we move to the other engine, but let's wait until we move to the other engine. Now, um, yeah, those are all corrupted. That we need the spike log. That I don't think is worth it. Let me know if this is worth it, you guys. Um, it just doesn't seem like it to me. This, I really want to get this for the vehicle, but we need corrupted. And we need Olympium fragments, which I don't think we'll be able to come across until we get to the deep zone. Now we got to find a remnant ghost, which I haven't come across yet. And then these are currently out of reach. Okay, so yeah, I think we've upgraded everything we, we potentially can uh, for the moment. We do need to get more sap crystals and we need to get more plasma. So those are two of our higher priority items, resource items that, as we go out. All right, so we have backup um, scrappers. I've got one and a half. Oh, you know what did happen to me? I did, in fact, have... It was either a bubble gum or something... Something stole my frickin' um, vac, hand vac. So I think I'm going to make this. I mean, I got tons of marsh eggs. The rest of the stuff doesn't matter. So, yeah, let's make these. Okay. And that means that means they can't take that shit out of my hand. I mean, they stole it and took it off, and I couldn't even recover it. Um, acid resist. Sure. We have, you know, we have tree candy now, so let's... There's no reason not to do any of this stuff, because you can have all of it at the same time, which is kind of weird, but it is what it is. Um, okay, so we've done everything we can do there. We're just a tiny bit stronger when it comes to acid, and those bastards aren't going to be able to steal shit out of our hands anymore. That's a good thing. I don't think you have anything for us, do you? No. Nope. Alright, before we take off, let's do our, our usual reading. I'll put a timestamp uh, in the video for those of you who don't want to go through the reading. And I think I have one or two video logs to play for you as well. Let's do it. Uh, we'll check this thing first so it'll shut up. Um, have been transformed to the telephone signal. Please transform back. Right. Okay. What do we have in the logbook? Um, storms. You won't last long inside the instability front. Avoid being overtaken at all costs. Check the passenger seat map to locate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we already know that. I wouldn't have gotten caught in it except for that um, stuff happened. <laughs> um, okay. The uh, I did find... Well, here. Let's... Let's read these notes because, uh, because I did this off camera. I wasn't planning on it, but I ran into them, and I, so I just... You know, I got him, but I did record it, so you guys saw it. Oh, yeah, that's called the Scorch. Okay, uh, typically carbon only exists, or, or sorry, exhibits liquid properties at high temperatures and pressures, generally over 4,500 Kelvin and 100 atmospheres. A week ago, if you'd asked me about the conditions in which I expected it to exist, I would have presented these figures. But after a, what seemed to be a combination of mass hallucinations, seismic events, and radiation bursts, more and more of the zone is behaving differently. The environment, the weather... 
Even substances and elements themselves seem altered, as if mutated. In the woods west of our facility, what appears to be some form of liquid carbon flows like sap. Though many of the torched or petrified uh, through wait yeah through many of the torched or petrified trees, certainly it is hot, but not so so that it can't be collected and handled. Initial analysis shows that it still behaves and reacts like carbon, but in this new form, it is lighter, less dense, and yet also burns more efficiently. We have collected several liters for further study. So this is the tree candy, basically. And then the uh, the other thing that came up for the crystal thingamadoodle was sap compressor. I think at last that we may have perfected the crystalline form of the strange new carbon sap. With Dr. Turner's focused electrostimulative limb induction, we can essentially grow crystals almost as casually as if we were doing a high school homework assignment. Perhaps I'm exaggerating a little here. We still need to set up the inductors on location, and they must be carefully monitored to avoid overgrowth, as we are not even close to observing consistent development. Still, the resource costs excuse me, are low, and the rewards are plain. We can begin to compress and shape sap, before then collect and use the resulting crystals in far greater quantities than ever. In the applications of this, they could be extraordinary. So yeah, I was pulling something like eight crystals or so um, off of the, you know, out of these things, which is, you know, it takes a long time to gather eight crystals doing it the, the old fashioned way, meaning blowing up dummies and scrapping armored stuff. Uh, we also, uh, I showed that we ran into this payload thing, the little rocket thing that falls out of the sky and uh, yeah, it just has pretty good shit in it. So yeah, uh, we ran into that. Okay, so I did run into a new anomaly. Uh, a pacemaker? I don't remember this. I think we, I think we already ran into that. Um, but what I did find is a new type of bunny. It was the burp bunny. So basically, this is an acid bunny. We were right. The compound is organic. I'll transmit a full analysis shortly. But in the meantime, the acidic effects come from a solution that appears to be primarily a mix of formic and hydrochloric acid. While the gelatinous qualities come from a fatty substance that seems to include something very similar to palmitic acid. The mix is precisely balanced. Exactly, exactly how it is synthesized is a mystery. The closest comparison I can make right now is to insects that also create organic acids, though we both know that's a stretch. Are we sure these things aren't alive? Okay, yeah, so they're, they're pretty nasty. Touch and go. This part of the zone is full of anomalies known for suddenly accelerating vehicles that they touch. Okay. Um, I think... We've already been through these violent voltage. The electrical discharges detected in this part of the zone are much higher voltage. Yeah, we've done that. Disruptive. This part can damage or disrupt batteries. Intense radiation. Lots of hot dust. Uh, this is why I'd use the puncture tires. There's basically just more spike traps all around. Underground mischief. Burrowing stuff. More in as the bunnies. Pernicious pickpockets. Steel stuff, harmful to humans, hurts us more. And I think, what is malfunctioning mess? Magnetic interference, broad spectrum anomalies mean that things are constantly going haywire. In, okay. Spark surge, curious fragility. Okay, yeah, I think we're familiar with all the rest of this. Uh, tree candy, it's cold but juicy, says Oppie's Notes. That's a description that's both profoundly uncomfortable and yet utterly impossible to unhear. <laughs> Bigfoot mural. A mural that foretold, foretold the coming of Bigfoot to the Olympic exclusion zone. Legend has it that Bigfoot was drawn by the anomalized mushrooms that grow in the mid zone. Okay. Great pileup. A mural depicting abandoned boats in a lake. We, we went through all this stuff in the last episode. And then, of course, the doorway that Tobias is really afraid of that turns things inside out. Okay. Tools. Uh, what's new here? I don't know. Utilities. Ion shield. A far more effective solution than a wall of lead, this field. Yeah, this is an active thing that we'd have to put on the top and use power to activate it. But probably not something we're going to use. 
Acid raincoat protects against acid. Grip gloves protects against stealing. All right, we got a new status here. Rusty. Age and agitation has caused this tank to develop an ever-widening crack. You can expect it to start leaking at any moment, and unfortunately, no amount of sealing will fix this fundamental flaw. Okay. Hopefully, we don't have that going on right now. And then some decorative stuff. We found pink paint. Want to really blend in amongst the strangest of the zone? Why not choose a color that bursts like bubblegum that shines as sweet as sugar? You'll be no more anomalous than anything else. <laughs> okay. Isn't that the truth? All right. Um, I don't have anything that's rusty, do I? Nope. The car's in good shape. So uh, we probably did at one point, obviously. I think we're ready to set out. Let's give this one more zappity do because we have lots and lots of battery power now. And then we're going to look at this thing, my doodle. And it wants us uh, it wants us to go here to go to Red Meadow Research Facility. And let's see, what did I say we needed? We needed plasma and we needed sap crystals. So this is good because this is we can get the sap crystals up here. Um, so yeah, let's just select it. And we could do this highway route all the way up to here. What is What do we got going on here? Yeah, that none of that looks fun. Angry abductors, battery sapping. We, yeah, we don't want to go. We don't want battery sapping, man. Um, maybe what we could do. This would shorten our trip. But we'd have battery sapping if we went through here. Heavy fog in the Warrens. Anchor obfuscation. This would, even though this would give us an extra, well, does this give us an extra junction? Actually, no, it doesn't. We still have to go through two, even if we go this way. So, yeah, I think we'll just go up this way. And we'll collect any plasma, you know, that, that we come across. Let's do this. The funny thing is, though, is that the engine still sounds like a gasoline engine. <laughs> but like a combustion engine. I love the power, and I like the better grip on the road, too. Okay, so we were going to go up through here, here, and there. We have two really big uh, power thingies here. Oh, this is the anchor obfuscation thing. So that means it could be in all kinds of different places, right? Um, all right, so let's let's try something here. I've never used this. Okay, so it gives us a ping over there. I wish we could access the map when we're not in the car. Um, I mean, if we're close to the car, we can look that way. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how this works. Can we use it while we're in the car? I don't think so. Um. Oh, wait a minute. What? Now it's showing the anchor behind us. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really sure exactly how that's supposed to work. And honestly... I don't really want to spend a ton of time trying to figure it out right now. If it was unstable power, I probably would, but it's just normal power, so let's just go. Ah, uh, shit, we don't want to left and right. Uh, I do want the plasma, though, so we're going to stop for that. How did I... 
Oh no, did I forget to put this stuff back? I must have. We got a swag wagon sticker, that's cool. Oh man, really? Well, that sucks. Um... Well, let's... Let's put all this in here. I mean, it, if it really came down to it, I could throw all of that stuff out and we'd be fine because we still have a million... Well, maybe not a million, but we still have a lot of it. But still, I mean, not ideal, right? I must have forgot to, to put it... You know, put it all back in the... Oh, the pneumatic storage. But whatever. Okay. I know this guy's gonna mess with us. I know my trunk's open, but let's just get away from this guy. Of course I can always limb pulse him, but that uses power, so... Oh good, there's an investigator. So let's investigate. A steel bumper? Alright. We're just gonna break that down. Got a couple dumpster pearls out of the deal. Um, that is a normal steel door, which I don't think I'm going to break down, but I will do the tires. So we have some rubber with us. We need that to make um, ceiling kits, among other things. Okay, let's move. Let's motivate. and grab the plasma here. Love the tires on the road and love the engine, man. You can definitely tell a difference. And we're out. Okay, let's head on up to E2. Uh, we're going to have a bunch of bunnies in some fog. Okay. I don't think I'm going to dilly-dally here. Let's just get through the zone. We will stop, stop for significant things though, like investigators and plasma. Uh oh shit. Get off, buddy. Okay. Hopefully that Doctor stays away. We have a filling station up here, but we don't need gasoline. We'll stop at it anyways because we can get... Oh, we do want this. Leave the damn light on. Okay. Open. Okay. 
the fat tire hood ornament. That we'll just use right away, because why not? And a steel panel, which I think I'm not going to mess with. Let's just, like I said, use this right now. Why won't that go into my hands? I guess there isn't room for the other stuff to swap it out. Um, can I charge the batteries just from doing one of these? Well, no, those show completely full. That one doesn't. Okay. Free battery charge. I love it. Uh, let's run over here and check this dumpster. chemicals. So we haven't really been using them much lately because I seem to... Oh, nice. Got a dumpster pearl. I seem to um, get quite a bit of free putty you know, from dumpsters and pearls and things like that. Alright, let's just take a quick peek in here. Some radiated food. Sounds appetizing. Uh, some electronics. Oh, we got a decal thingy too. Come on, give me camouflage. The prop. That's a hood ornament. Okay. Whoa. Alright. Um. I guess we just forward this crossing. Yeah, I really like the all terrain tires. They're not that much worse, you know, off-road, and they are that much better on-road, so. Uh, where the hell am I going? This way. Let's go, yeah, let's go this way. Should be a road right up here. see that car there. It was obfuscated by some bushes. That's uh, what's making that noise? Oh, one of those things. Okay. Surprised that didn't proc. I thought maybe I was hearing like another tower so we can get more plasma. Well, here we go. There's a tower to get more plasma. I'm surprised this thing isn't doing its thing. This is a uh, wriggling wreck, right? Or a. Uh, It's not telling us what it is. I think it's, I think it's called a wriggling wreck, or something like that. I threaded the needle right there. Oh shit! And there too. <laughs> On the tower. So we now have, we have 16 plasmas. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And of course we can get those 
in the mid zone too. Car's in pretty good shape. No major damage at all. And we're out. Okay. Uh, perpetual stability. It's a beautiful thing. Decent amount of unstable power, too, so we'll be grabbing all of that, of course. In terms of upgrades, though, we've just about upgraded everything. Oh, wow, this is weird. This place is called Red Meadows. Um, I guess that's an orchard, maybe? I don't know. Taking my lab notes for a trash pile and throwing away weeks of work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be nice to see it again. They bulldoze that facility to the ground. There's nothing left to reminisce about. Poppy, don't be such a bitch. Um, alright. Let's stay on the road, because I, I didn't see anything scanned really close by, resource wise. And I don't want to do unnecessary damage to our vehicle. We could do a scan this way. Nope. You know the one thing I don't like about the resource scanner, and I think I may have already mentioned this to you guys, is that it it still scans resources that you've already gathered And uh, that kind of sucks. We got fuel, some cars, nothing super significant though, so far. over everything else. You wonder if I regret it? Oh, I have no interest in regret. I want to know if you ever felt that leaving was a real option. After everything I've seen and heard and felt here? No. Not a chance. Then we have that in common. Shit. Get out of here. Um, where's my... Yeah, here we go. This is tree candy. I think we got it all. Oops, wrong button. Okay, there's a pneumatic thingy over there. But I don't see... I, okay, I see some tree candy off that direction. Um, yeah, let's just go for the tree candy. I don't care so much about the pneumatic thing. Oh, and there's a one of the crystal thingies over here too, which is even better. Uh, what am I doing? Oh. Bit, I was a little confused because is that like a big oh that's a big concrete something or other the rain the rain was like making it kind of hard to see what was going on all right so let's just go back down to the road because there's mo most likely a tunnel or some way to get through there yeah 
Yeah, here we go. Oh, is this... Hmm. I don't know what this place is. I mean, it's Red Meadows, but... Oh, it's a research facility. Okay. I was thinking it was a... Like a orchard or something. Don't ask me why. Can't explain it. Um... Okay. Let's pop this. Yeah, that's what I was looking at earlier over there, but we also ha have one here. We're going to have this guy be a jerk. Get out of here. Seems like there's always one candy that doesn't quite want to come off the tree there. Okay, we have another tree candy thingy and a crystal thingy. Two crystal, oh, three crystal thingies. What's better than two crystal thingies? Three crystal thingies. Uh, how about four crystal thingies? I've never been so happy to be wrong in my entire life. Uh, what, what the hell just happened? I don't know. Okay, we don't want to stand in that crap. Oh, this is going to be nice, man. If the bullards don't screw us up. And there's a power thing over there, too. Alright. I think we got everything. That was a nice little haul there. Um, we got a total of 37 sap crystals. And 32 tree candies. Well, we already, we had some tree candy from earlier. Okay, let's run over here and grab, yeah, we might as well grab this. What is that? I think it's just a glowing mushroom. I'm trapped inside of these twigs. This place is pretty nasty for perpetual stability. Yuck. Let's go. Um, let's see. Let's go over kind of to this end and we'll do another scan. tree candy over this way. All right. Let's go start moving over here. We're just going to kind of do a sweep of the this whole grid area that we're in. And I'm mostly interested in crystals and other stuff. Uh, he hasn't left the bedroom. I'm sorry. You didn't know about his demotion. It wasn't my secret to tell. 
It's fine. This is between him and, and me. Wow. I think that's the first time I've ever heard Oppie be apologetic about anything. All right, let's go. Cars in, in great shape. I think I saw some more crystal thingies up this way, maybe. Those are worth getting for sure. Okay, let's do a resource scan. We have a box truck up that way and another tree candy this way. So uh, what, what, what did Alan tell you about his work? He was second in command of Dr. K's lab after all. Alan didn't discuss his work with me, nor did I share mine with him. Wait, you were ahead of the whole stinking department. To know something about what their lab was doing. And if there was anything useful to be found, I'd have sussed it out already. That's all I did after the accident. Try and fail to find any answers. Okay, she's back to being a bitch again. Well, there's a power thing. Uh, let's let's run and get it on foot so we keep most of the nastiness away from our car. There must be a belching barnacle around here. Got all these rotten eggs. Yuck. Alright, we have an investigator over here. And we are getting the shit pounded out of us by this acid stuff. Oh, that's what's going on. Get out of here. Look at that roof floodlights. My goodness. You know what, though? We already have the roof tracking light, which, in my opinion, is better. Um, and we got a hand back, too. That's good. I think... Whoops. I think what I'm going to do is just grind that down. We not get anything for that? Oh man, what a ripoff. Okay, are these armored doors? No. Alright, let's get out of here. This is nasty out here, man. Alright, what? What did I have in slot? Th oh, I have this in slot three. Okay. That sucks that we didn't get uh, any resources out of that really nice light. It's just that, like I said, I already have the tracking light. And I don't see the point in having the normal floodlights. Let's go check this box truck over here. Oh, no, that's a fuel truck. Yeah, we don't need that. Okay, we got some tree candy over this way.
And this guy's probably going to want to mix it up with us. No? Okay. Fine by me. Wait a minute. Where's the tree candy? Am I at the wrong thing? Did it somehow get destroyed? Oh, yeah, I guess it got destroyed. Oh, that sucks. Okay, let's move over towards this next power thing and grab it next. And we, we are slowly working our way over to getting the quest done. Fret not. There's some plasma. I don't think I'm going to loot the Arda trailer for now. Uh, we'll grab that smaller power when we move towards our mission objective. Let's go around this way. pretty close by here. There it is. Um, I th I'm just going to drive up to it and grab it. It's just too damn nasty outside. Oh, please don't tell me that thing is... Damn. How many of those things are there? Jesus. thing's not inside of the muckety muck, is it? No, it's just barely on the outside of it. Oh, no, it is inside of it. Shit. Um. All right, if we're gonna if we're gonna kamikaze in there, we need to make sure we're at full health. Okay. I am keeping an eye on my battery power too. All right, let's do this. Yeah, that took away almost 25% of our health. Not good. Oh, I think I have a bunny on my car. Here's an investigator. We may have already checked this one. I don't know. No, we didn't, because the thing is not open. A summer tire. Okay, I want this. I don't care about those two things. Okay. 
Uh, do you have armored doors? Nope, just steel doors. Well, let's see. I've got a blowtorch that's partially used. Let's just... Oh! Is this a... Why is that purple? I thought it was... Eh, maybe that's right. Okay. Might as well touch everything up since we got this free blowtorch. We'll use it until it runs out. Uh, what else is in the worst inch? Uh, oh, got to look on the other side. Uh, this door. This panel. This door. Um, how are my batteries looking? They're both in really good shape. This panel here. How's my limb pulse? It's pretty good. Uh, this door. There we go. Since we're at it, let's just finish touching up. Since I got lots of... All this putty I have in here I got for free, so might as well use it, right? Her flask. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? She's like getting impatient. She wants me to get over there real quick. But she's going to have to wait, man. Okay, that's in good shape. That's in good shape. Turbines are in good shape. Oh, this needs a little bit of TLC. How... How are we losing gasoline? Hmm, that's weird. Okay, car's in damn near tip-top condition. Well, it looks like I used the rest of the putty. Let's go. Alright, um... Let's just start heading towards our destination here. And, of course, we'll pick up that power. Well, actually, you know what, though? I'll tell you what. I think I'm going to cut the camera. And I'm going to go around and gather as many more resources as I can. I just want to take advantage of this, um, you know, perpetual stability zone. Even though though it is kind of nasty otherwise. Um, you know, to, to grab as many resources as we can. So, I'll, oh, finally, it stops raining. Uh, I'll keep the um, the camera ready to go if something crazy happens, but otherwise I'll meet you guys when we're ready to start the quest. Because this, otherwise this episode's going to go way too damn long. What else is new?